I'm Dr. Alex Hannenberg, a Team Steps Master Trainer, and I'll introduce a training session that I think will be both enjoyable and worthwhile. Team Steps is a teamwork system designed for healthcare professionals that's rooted in more than 20 years of research and training experience. It was developed by the Department of Defense and the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. It aims to improve healthcare quality and safety by helping our teams work more effectively together. A concise summary of the program's framework is available in the Team Steps Pocket Guide. This is one of a series of training modules that allow the learner to experience situations in which Team Steps tools could be used to improve team communication and patient care. The video material does not depict actual patient care, and you will get the most out of the experience by not focusing on how the scenarios differ from your own practice, but by carefully observing staff and patient interactions and discussing your observations and improvement strategies in small groups. In this video scenario, we will have the opportunity to closely observe the care of a laboring patient and her partner as clinical concerns about her labor arise in a birthing center. The purpose of the exercise is to study how the team members work with one another and the patient under their care. What do they say? How do they say it? And what don't they say? Observing and discussing communication among team members is a great way to identify how Team Steps tools can be used to improve teamwork in our own clinical practice. As you watch the patient's labor progress, please pay special attention to whether the team members are sharing information effectively with each other. Note whether information is shared with the patient and her partner and whether their priorities are recognized. Try not to be distracted by the details of the clinical management. Use the sheet provided to jot down your thoughts about what you're seeing and what you might have done under the circumstances and where having the STEP framework in mind could improve teamwork. Your notes will be helpful in the discussion that follows. The most valuable part of an exercise like this usually comes when we reflect on what we've seen and how it might help us to improve. For that part of the training, you'll break up into small groups so that there's an opportunity for every participant to share their own observations and conclusions. Everyone should keep in mind that all of the participants in your small group are assumed to be intelligent, capable, and to care about improving. You may have questions about today's activity, and this is a good time to discuss them with your facilitator. Did you text your sister yet and let her know that we're here? I did. Everyone's excited to hear any news. We're so grateful to be able to deliver here at the Birthing Center. You've always wanted to have a natural birth. That's really wonderful. We're so glad to have you here. Does everything look okay? Yep. Uh, looks like you're progressing and baby sounds fine. So now we just have to wait for baby to come. <laughs> I guess it's Good to hear that everything's going well, but I don't feel so good. The pain feels different. It's more sharp over here. Maybe that's just how labor progresses. She said everything was good. Maybe you should just let her know if anything changes. Is the baby okay? I feel like this is taking too long. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, are we still able to have natural birth? Looks like you're still at five centimeters. There hasn't been much progress, but we'll keep an eye on it. This is our first baby, so we don't really know what to expect. How much should I have progressed by now? Um, it's hard to say. Every birth is different. Hi, Dr. Smith. Yeah, Maria Roth here. I'm calling to give you a heads up on a patient we have over here, Lisa Rodney. 
It looks like she'll be heading your way soon. Her labor hasn't progressed in hours and the fetal heart rate's beginning to be worrisome. That's right, uh, I'll call you back when we have an estimate of the transfer time and we have the transportation arranged. All right, thanks. Excuse me? Has Maria been in to see you lately? She was in here about an hour ago. She said everything was fine, but... Go ahead. Tell her the pain's different now. Okay, I... great. Is everything all right? Is there... is there something we should know? Oh, everything's fine. Uh, having a baby just takes some time. Uh, this is your first baby, so typically labor lasts a little longer. Um, we'll be in to check on you soon. Hit the call button if you need anything. Hi, how's it going in here? It's okay, I was just checking her. She's still at five centimeters. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. I think we need to transfer her to the medical center. Uh, this baby's not tolerating the labor and the heart rate is getting worrisome. What? Wow, really? Wait, what? Tr transfer her where? Let's go ahead and arrange transport. I called Dr. Smith over at the medical center a couple of hours ago and already told him that she might be coming over for a C-section. Wow, uh, I'm sorry, I had no idea you'd already reached out to them. Um, I can arrange transport? Okay, thanks, Colleen. So, as you know, labor hasn't been progressing and the baby is starting to show some signs of distress. We need to transfer her to the medical center where you're probably going to have a C-section. Hey, this is all so sudden. You, you spoke to a doctor a couple hours ago. We have family coming here. They said everything was fine. Is this why my pain has been worse? A couple of hours ago, the pain became more sharp and constant. But I wasn't worried because you said everything was okay. I really want to have a natural labor. I don't feel prepared for this at all. I'm really afraid of surgery. I know this isn't what you wanted. But you say your pain has changed. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? It's just been more sharp and poking me like a knife is poking me. And it stays even between contractions. It started a couple of hours ago and it just seems to be getting worse. Okay, we're gonna put you on a continuous fetal monitor while we arrange for transportation. They'll be able to do a more detailed evaluation when you get to the medical center. You have just seen a team of intelligent, capable, and caring healthcare professionals manage an anticipated natural childbirth that's become clinically complicated. Now you'll spend time in small groups reflecting on what you've each observed in the video. Every group member shares responsibility for maintaining a respectful discussion and ensuring that every participant has an opportunity to speak. In this setting, it's important to put aside seniority and your professional role and speak freely. Each of you has something to contribute. We suggest that you start by spending a couple of minutes silently reviewing your notes and getting your thoughts together. Try to come up with a few explanations for behavior in the video and how the STEP model could have improved teamwork and communication. Then as a group, we suggest you discuss the following questions. What was your overall impression of this scenario? What went well? Where did things start to go less well? How could the healthcare team have included the patient and her partner in the situation monitoring process and created a shared mental model? What information should they have shared with the patient and her partner? Do you think the nurse and the midwife were on the same page? How could the clinical team have used the STEP framework to improve their monitoring of the situation? Use the discussion outline on your worksheet to guide your small group and be mindful of the time allotted for this activity. We found it helpful if participants rotate the role of discussion leader perhaps by name alphabetically or by seating position. Then summarize in one or two sentences what your group thinks is the most important behavior or communication tactic to work on in your daily practice from the Team Steps principles discussed today. 
Your group will share this with a larger group when you come back together. We will now watch an example of how the team could have created a shared mental model of the situation, working together and exemplifying good teamwork and communication. Consider how the behaviors displayed in this second scenario correspond to those team steps principles discussed today. Before you wrap up, your facilitator will take some time with you to help identify the most important takeaways from this training. And remember, there are many resources available to help you learn and teach Team Steps on the program's website. I wanted to check in with you about Lisa Rodney in room 12. I've noticed some changes in the baby's heart rate, and she's been complaining of a sharp, constant pain in her lower left quadrant. Lisa and her partner seem to sense a problem, and I'm also concerned about the change in her status. I wanted to let you know so you could assess her. Oh, I agree. That doesn't sound good. I mean, if she's not progressing and the baby's not tolerating labor, we may have to transfer to the hospital for a C-section. Let's go check her together. I know they really wanted a natural birth, but I think we need to start preparing them for the possibility of a transfer. What's going on? Is everything okay? Colleen told me that they noticed some changes in the baby's heart rate and that you reported that your pain has been different. Sometimes this can just be part of labor, but other times it can mean that the baby's not tolerating labor or it can signal some other issue. I think it's best that we transfer you to the medical center where they can do some closer monitoring. Tra transfer? Why does she need to be transferred? Uh, is this something can be handled here at the birthing center? If the baby's heart rate is indicating stress from labor and you're not dilating very much, you're probably going to have to go over to the medical center for a C-section. We don't do them here, but the medical center does. They'll take excellent care of you. I really don't want to have a C-section. I want to have a natural birth. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I know how much a natural birth means to you, and I'm disappointed for you, but we can't take any chances. Are there any questions I can answer for you? When will I be transferred? We're going to call the medical center right away to begin the transfer process. Uh, the whole thing usually takes about an hour. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to keep a close watch on baby with continuous heart rate monitoring. Do you have any other questions? Not right now. Thanks for letting us know. Thank you.